Hey everyone, Spencer from Buildapreneur here. This video is going to be all about how to get started with email marketing, okay? So if you're brand new, you're just trying to figure out how it all works, how the big picture of email marketing works, this video is for you. If you're some kind of email marketing guru, it's probably not for you. But if you're new, you want to know how it all works, stay tuned. All right, we're back. And before we get started, I should mention that down below there is a link to a free course with vastly more information than just what I can give you in this video, okay? So there will be questions that come up in the video like, well, how do I write subject lines and how do I get people to open my emails and stuff like that? Free course down below. It'll show you a whole lot more than just this video, but this video will help you get everything set up and running, okay? So let's get started with everything you need to go email market. Um, the first thing we wanna talk about is you're gonna need an autoresponder, okay? So step one, you need an autoresponder. If you're not familiar with what that is, that's the software that does all this, okay? Like, you don't just send from your Gmail account or your Yahoo account. You actually need a software that goes out and sends these emails for you. And it's called an autoresponder, okay? And you're going to need to select one. The one I'm showing on the screen and the one that I recommend because, frankly, it's better than everybody else is called Active Campaign. There's a link down below to that as well. And in my course, I point you to Active Campaign. Um, there's a lot of reasons to use Active Campaign, but... Um, but I would just trust me after having used many, many autoresponders. Um, Active Campaign just has uh, features far above me on what everybody else has. So you don't need a software, okay? So you need to sign up. Active Campaign, I think it's got a free trial and then it's um, maybe $9 a month getting started. So very, very cheap, um, especially for what these softwares will do, right? For what this is going to do and how much time this is going to save you. $9 a month is nothing. Um, so you're going to sign up for an autoresponder. Step two is you're going to need to integrate, okay? And so integrate means. Um, basically, you've got maybe you've got sales funnels or a blog or a Pinterest page or wherever it is. Um, you've got these um, forms, right? And people are putting email addresses in these forms, and they're um, getting lead magnets and whatever it is. And, and hopefully, you you understand that small concept of well, I've got to have a place where people put in email addresses, right? So if you go to buildapreneur.com/free, um, where where I'm telling you to go to get your free email marketing course, you will see I've got a link, and then you go and you access your free course by putting in your email, okay? And so um, the second thing you need is you need integrations. All of your forms out there, everywhere that you take an email address in from people needs to be integrated with your software so that the email address comes in and goes into your software. Now, I can't tell you how to do that with everything that, everything out there because guess what? There's tons of things out there. I can tell you that um, it's very easy to just Google it. So you would Google um, this program I'm using right here is ClickFunnels. So you would Google ClickFunnels active campaign integration right and that was terrible spelling but there it is integrating with active campaign there's directions um same thing with wordpress so my wordpress uh website here has oh, right here <clears throat> has the same thing you you go and i googled it and you can easily integrate every single form that you're using with your email autoresponder okay so the second thing after you've got your autoresponder is you need to integrate it with everywhere that you're actually accepting emails okay and i think with active campaign um i use thrive and you can um, connect directly in Active Campaign to Thrive. The next thing you need is you need lists, okay? And this is where we're gonna actually dive in and show you. So we need a place to put them, right? So we, the email addresses are gathered um, in, in our forms on our websites or our sales funnels. And then our integration puts them and, and throws them into Active Campaign, which is our autoresponder. And then step three is we need somewhere in Active Campaign to put them, and that's called lists, okay? And so you would create. You would add a list, active campaign. Let's call this just our test list for YouTube. Um, we would say like basically where where this list came from. So for me, it's always um, buildapreneur.com. And then um, they're always going to ask you like, well, in case contacts ask like, hey, why are you emailing me? You could put something here like you asked me to email you. Um, you wouldn't want to be quite that weird, but that's what you'd say. Okay, so now we've got this list, and there's zero people in the list, um, but we've got a list of people. And now in our integration, um, wherever it is that you're integrating from, whether it's WordPress, lead pages, click funnels, whatever it is, it's going to ask you, okay, we are connected to Active Campaign. Now, where should we put these contacts? When you know, when someone when someone puts in their email address right here, where should we put this contact? And um, you're going to tell it a list, and and then that list now serves as a group of um, like-minded individuals, right, that you can start sending your emails to, okay? So, uh, autoresponder, we need to integrate with uh, our autoresponder and wherever the form is that the email address is getting put in. We need to create a list, and then we need to create automations, okay? Um, and the reason I always say do automations is 
far, far, far too many people that I talk to, they'll create these lists and they'll put the email addresses in the list, but then they just get too busy and they don't ever actually sit down and email their lists, right? Maybe you're in this situation. Um, but basically, they, they don't sit down you know, every other day and write an email to their list. It's a lot of work. Other things come up and it just kind of ends up going to the wayside and doesn't get done. So rather than doing that method where you're just building up this list of email addresses that you could email in the future should you ever manage to get the time to sit down and send an email, we build automations, which basically says it's an email sequence, you know, 10, 20, 30, 100 emails long. And everyone that puts in their email address automatically gets put into this automation. And the automation starts emailing them once a day or once every other day or once a week or something like that. And, um, you know, everyone gets the same flow as they go through this automation. And in that, and that way, we can write a bunch of emails up front all at once, right? And then everybody who gives us their email address is able to get those emails in a logical order that makes sense to them, you know, based on when they signed up. Um, so we need an automation. And that's really easy to do as well with that campaign. So next, we're going to create an automation. Right here, create an automation. Okay, and we would do the same thing. We would say we want to start from scratch and we would want it to be a test automation. Okay. Now, the first thing that's going to ask you when you create an automation is, well, what triggers this automation? Okay, so an automation is basically just a sequence of emails, right? Like an email, you know, send an email today, wait two days, send another email, wait a few days, send another email. Now, what's going to trigger that is what it's asking. Like, well, what makes this, e you know, automation start on a, on a contact's email address? And we'll say, oh, it's when they subscribe to our list, right? So we just created a list um, for our business where we're, we're getting, we're gathering all this. And we say, hey, when somebody signs up in, you know, when their email address shows up in test list or course, trigger this automation, meaning start sending them the emails that I'm going to show you in this automation. Okay. And boom, here we are. Now it says, okay, what's the first step in our automation? And boom, our first step is going to be to send an email. We would create an email. I'm not going to do that. Um, and then we just go from there. Very, very, very easy to do. Okay. Um, there's two major automations you're going to want to know about. The first one is called a soap opera um, sequence or soap opera automation. And all that does is basically all of your contacts as they come in, you, you, you probably don't want your very first email to just be selling them something. And you definitely don't want your first five emails to just be selling them something, right? Can you see why that would be putting off to people? Like, I don't even remember who you are. I barely even know who you are. I put in my email address for this free thing or whatnot, coupon or whatever. And now you're just emailing me sales all the time. I'm going to unsubscribe. You want your first few emails to be more of a relationship builder, okay? A chance for them to see who you are. Um, if it's a company, you see what your company is about. If it's an individual, you know, see what that individual is about, what they believe in, what they um, care about. Um, I have YouTube videos um, that hopefully will show up around here in a minute, but that also talk about um, soap opera sequences and how to write like a really good soap opera sequence. But basically, the idea is you you want your uh, these these contacts really quickly to to like you and trust you and um, relate to you and and you know feel like uh, when you're selling them stuff in future emails that you're someone they can trust to buy things from. Um, so you'll you'll go put everyone through a soap opera sequence, okay? Which will be a bunch of emails, like I just said. We'll create an email. It's going to pull up all my old emails here. We can just select an old template subject. The buildapreneur.com slash free will teach you how to write good subject lines. Anyway, so let's say this is the email, right? We've created our first email in our sequence and we click finish. That email is ready to go. Then we would tell it to wait for a day and we would add another email. Okay, now we, let's, say, let's say we write a soap opera sequence that's four or five days long. And then at the end of that, we would start another automation. Okay, automation two. They've gone through here. They've they've done their soap opera sequence. They now like like us. They trust us. They relate to us. They're going to start opening more of our emails because they like these first few emails we gave them. We gave them some good stories in there and stuff. Um, so at the very end of this, we would say start another automation. Okay, and then we would start automation number two. Then I'm going to talk about this is what I call. I call this the shotgun approach. Um, basically, this is just an automation of emails that does a lot of things. Sometimes we're going to have a few emails that will sell them something. So this is where your business is making money, right? Whatever your core product is or some of your core products, you'll send a few emails and sell them that core product. Then you'll go back to kind of more of the soap opera things. Maybe you'll send them an email with just kind of some really useful information like this. You know, these are these are really people. So you could send them some training on whatever it is they care about. Or you could send them um, some, some kind of free content or... Uh, um, you know, just a cool video or all kinds of things that you could do to kind of just um, not sound like you're just selling to them all the time, but to actually get them like, oh, I like this guy's emails. You know, maybe it's just like jokes or a YouTube video or something like that. Like you're going to kind of mix it up. That's why I call it a shotgun approach because you're kind of just mixing it up. And so some of your emails are funny. Some of your emails are motivational. Some of your emails are like coupons and some of your emails are like straight up sales emails, right? And you're kind of you're kind of going in, in, in a rotation like that. And this automation can be as long as you want. It can be a mile long. 
100 emails long, where it's just email, 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 you know, wait a day or two, email, wait a day or two, email, wait a day or two. And um, this is super cool because you can build this, you know, you're like, wow, 100 emails, I can never do that. But you can build this piece by piece, okay? So that's step five. Your first four steps you could do in a matter of, a, you know, a day or two. You get that soap opera set up, it's probably the hardest thing, and you've, you've got everything set up. Um, and then this fifth step where we build out our long automation is is can be done piece by piece. You, you write out a few emails today and then you can start running, you know, sending traffic to this email sequence and getting people inside of here. And then all you have to do, and this is what I have in my calendar, is I add one email address at a time. Or not one email address. I add one um, calendar notification a day that says add a new email to your email sequence okay so one email a day which i think all of us feel like we can do i get in and i add another email to the end of the sequence okay and what that means is is the sequence grows really 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 long and you can get this um this nice long sequence and now whenever i'm i'm getting email addresses right and i'm capturing them on automation while i'm sleeping while all this you know while i'm not working these people are getting emails that are you know often selling them things and it's happening totally in automation and the email sequence is months or years long so that I can actually you know pull out of my business and focus on other things um, whether it's personal or, or more business things I was gonna show you a quick example here of what I'm talking about so this email sequence I built I built it to be I built these first three emails when I first launched it and then I just launched it okay and then every day I add a new email boom add a new email boom add a new email and then I get a little complicated here and that's we don't have to do anything like that but it's in my course Boom, add an email. Boom, add an email. Boom, add an email. Okay, and every day I add one email and I'm able to build up this long automation. And now, whenever I you know get traffic and I, I get email addresses that put in, I know they're gonna get emails for months and months on automation from me that will provide value to them and occasionally it will sell them as well. Um, and this is how you get started with affiliate marketing, okay? You just do it. You sit down and you do those first four steps quickly. You get the autom autoresponder, active campaign. You integrate with um, wherever your you know places are that you're planning on capturing emails, you create some lists, you create your soap opera automation, and then you start um, once a day adding to your long automation. And in the meantime, you're doing other things. And each time an email address is captured, it comes in and starts going through this. Um, you really can have this up and running in a matter of days. And if, quite frankly, you're you're just leaving money on the table if you don't if you have a business and you don't have an email automation in place or some kind of email strategy in place. So definitely get one in place. Definitely go get more information at buildapreneur.com slash free. There is a ton more information there. Um, it's like 20 videos long and like, you know, sequential and uh, much more like watching me step by step do all this. Um, but yeah, that's how to get started with email marketing. Click subscribe if you've liked the video so far. I forgot to ask in the beginning and thanks so much.